Hello students, this is a supplementary video for chapter 6. Today, I'm talking about receptive fields. So, as far as we know, many cells have receptive fields with a center surrounding organization, excitatory and inhibitory regions separated by circular boundary. Some cells are on center and some cells are off center. So, let me explain this. So, let's talk about the on center cell over here. So let's just say we shine it on the inner uh, we shine a light on the inner circle and then you would see that the cells are firing and the lights are on. However, if we shine a light on the outer region, you don't see any firing. What this tries to tell you is that the the center the, the inner circle is the excitatory area while the outer circle is the inhibitory area. So now let's look on the, the off center cell. Let's pretend this is an off center cell. We shine a light on the inner circle. You see that there, uh, the cells are not firing. But if we shine a light on the outer circle, you would see cells firing. What this tries to tell you is that the off center cell, um, the, excitatory, the excitatory area is the, is the outer circle, and the inhibitory area is the inner circle. Another to keep in mind is uh, both the off-center and, uh, and, and uh, on-center cells, they both respond to contrast. So if there's a contrast between an inside and outside a cell, let's just say I'm just going to you know, draw this mark over here. So this would mean that um, uh, there, there's a great uh, FD effect of firing. So, so basically when there's a different contrast between the inner and the outer cell, the result would be a uh, greatly affect firing. So you would, you would see firing. However, if we illuminate the whole receptive fields, the whole thing, this would mean that there is no um, uh, effect on firing. said no firing. I hope this helps. Have a nice day.